Hello, I wanted to show you how you can automate uh, recurring Outlook emails. I'm going to make two videos. This first one is just going to be for the go-getter who wants to quickly get this done. So first things first, what you want to do is open up your Outlook and select File, then go to Options. And we're going to do a few things here. First, you want to go to your Customized Ribbon and make sure Developer is over here on the right side and is selected. If it's not, you want to add it over here and then just make sure that if it's not selected that you select it. Next, you'll want to go to your Trust Center and when you get to Trust Center, go to Macro Settings and select the third option, Notification for All Macros. All right. Um, so once you've done that, you'll want to go to Developer, which should appear up here at the top. If it doesn't, just shut down Outlook and restart it. And if it still hasn't, make sure you did what I just mentioned a moment ago. And then you'll want to select um, Visual Basic within Developer. And this will be blank for you, so don't worry about that. But you want to go up here to Tools and click References. And you want to select these five right here. Um, Visual Basic Applications, Outlook 16.0, Office 16.0, Word 16.0, OLE Automation. This is the most up-to-date version. If there's a more up-to-date version than 16.0, select whatever's the most up-to-date version. Once you've done those three things, you'll want to go to your calendar section and select where you want a recurring email. Today's April 12th, so that's what I'm going to select. Um, and let's see, it's 629. We'll do 632 for this right here. Okay, so you want to go to... Uh, make recurring and then whenever you want this email to repeat we're going to do monday since that's today at 6 32 a.m just for the sake of convenience of time i'm going to set this to zero minutes you can set it to any time frame now you want to go here to categorize then categorize you want to select all categories and then you want to select new under new you want to create a name for whatever you want to do um, and the color you want to select. I selected a purple one that says send schedule recurring email. So I'm not going to create a new one, but you just type it in and then select OK and add a new one, which I already have here. OK. So once you've done all that, click on developer. I'll send you this code. But the first thing you'll do is there should be this right here. It says Microsoft Object Outlook if you did this reference thing right earlier. And then you're just going to copy and paste the code. I gave you the big code. We'll go right here. Then you're going to come and click insert. Select module. You'll select a module, um, and uh, under module one that will be created, I'll give you another code you copy and paste into there. Once you've done all that, uh, and you've come in here, and you, you're starting to create an event, just add a title to it. Um, and then You're going to add right here your email, whatever email you want this sent to. Um, and you'll add the greater than, less than signs to it. If you want to add a second email, you just add a semicolon and then type in whatever their email is right here. Okay? And that can send you multiple emails and you can keep on adding to this. But for, the, for now, we'll just do one. Uh, and then you just type in whatever the body of your email you want to have will go here in this section. Okay, and then, uh, let's see, it's already 6.32, so I need to change this to 6.33. All right, save and close. And then what you want to do is you want to select it and change the category to whichever category is your recurring email. There's one other piece of information I think I forgot, I neglected. In the Outlook session down here, you will want whatever your title is of your recurring email, that category, listed here exactly how it is. It needs to be an exact match. So right here, send schedule recurring email. That's what it needs to look like. And uh, once you've done that and you have, have it within the quotation marks exactly as your category, which we do here. I've already made sure of that. But see, it says send schedule recurring category. If it's not right, again, you just want to rename it, select it, rename it. All right. So once the time arrives, I've um, here in just a moment, I set the notification in this case to be zero minutes. 
So as soon as it's 6.33, you get a notification. And the notification itself is actually what sends the email. So um, you can see the notification came up right here for what I just created. Just click Dismiss. We've already used it now. And then you will go to your email. I sent this one to myself. So obviously you can see it worked. It sent it. Hello, please send your weekly financial numbers. Thanks, Jonathan. And that's all you have to do. And now on a weekly basis at exactly 6.33 a.m. with uh, zero minutes to go, then the notification will pop up. As soon as that notification pops up, it'll send that email. One other note is um, you do want to click, yes, you want to save it. But whenever you open Outlook, based on what I've just done, this will pop up. Uh, enable or disable macros. You need to enable macros if you want this to run. So I think that's it. I'm going to have another video with lots and lots of explanation, but this is for those that just want to get this up and running. Thanks. Bye.